And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? Hey guys, Kristen here. If you're interested in minimalism, simplifying, and healthy living, then stick around. So if you can't tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about who I am as a person and telling you a little bit about me and then describing the journey and how I kind of got into minimalism and started to dabble to different areas and letting go of things and really living according to my values. So, grab myself as silly, funny, goofy, introverted, very creative. I love exercise and being active. Uh, this past year I've gotten into running. I also love like hiking and biking. I do that daily. I also say one of my interests is cooking. So if you guys are interested in like cooking videos or things like that, that's probably going to come up at some point. In terms of like my values, I would say like my faith as a Christian, like that definitely impacts a lot of my values and beliefs. The second question I'm going to address is why minimalism right how did i get into it how did i find find minimalism like what do you is minimalism i'm gonna start at the beginning so i started practicing minimalism probably like two years ago or a little over two years ago it was when the pandemic started so i was basically locked in my apartment for several weeks while i was in graduate school i was in graduate school to become a counselor and I was basically in my last year and I had to like intern and stuff. Also during COVID, I was struggling and stressed like many of us during COVID. And when COVID started, there were just a lot of unknowns out there. And minimalism was just something I kind of came across. Like I was spending a lot of time in my apartment because I was stuck there and I was stressed and frustrated with the clutter right the things i wasn't using the things that were just there and i was like why do i still have these items thought of like i'm gonna have to be moving again back to minnesota in the next few months and also this moving process is going to be so stressful because i have so much stuff i did a little bit of research and i found like joshua becker and the minimalist joshua and ryan and kind of started listening to their podcast and some YouTube videos. I really like this idea of like living out your values and like letting go of physical possessions, but also other areas outside of just physical possessions. I started with the easiest and I would also recommend this if you're starting and working towards minimalism to start with like the physical items and don't start with sentimental items first. Start with like something a little bit easy, like maybe pairs of shoes or like some things in your kitchen some pillows, some books, like start with something that's going to work and be easy for you and then work towards maybe the more harder things later that are attached to like strong memories or emotions or thoughts. I ended up collecting, I believe it was like 19 trash bags of items that were donated, sold, or given to family. And at least half of those were like clothes, shoes, accessories, things like that. And then the rest was like housewares, books, I don't know, just like miscellaneous other other items that I was getting rid of. I wish I had taken pictures at that point, but I did not um, of the process. But if you can imagine 19 full trash bags sitting in my apartment, filling up my entire kitchen, that's what it looked like. <laughs> Six months later that I started to discover that there's like other areas that I can declutter. It's not just physical possessions or emotional clutter, like digital clutter. There's other areas that I can make relationships, poor boundaries. And that was on following people I was comparing myself to, on following people that were toxic, on following people that were encouraging, like things that I really just didn't align with that weren't healthy for me. Where I'm at now is emotional clutter. Now, I would say this is probably the hardest and thing, so also would wait to address emotional clutter because it's a little bit more challenging and it's more of a process. The things emotionally that I worked on was fear of failure, perfectionism. I'm very type A, very task-orientated, 
And so I had a lot of expectations that were just unrealistic or I felt like I had to like achieve all of these things to get approval from others or approval from myself or like to be seen a certain way. I had to like accomplish all these things and I was exhausted and frustrated and angry and sad. So some of these things was really helpful and learning like how do I let go of some of these things? If you guys want to see a video about like fear of failure, my process of like working through that and also just like tips and tricks that just comment down below and I'd be willing to do a video like that. Kind of takes me to where I am today. Obviously, you know, minimalism is a journey, not a destination. So you're never really done. Like I'm still decluttering physical items. I'm still working on emotional clutter. I'm still working on digital clutter. It's an ongoing thing. The other thing too that I want to just preface on my channel is I want comments to be like more positive and not as like judgmental. I know there are, you know, different forms of minimalism and minimalism is going to look different for me and for someone who has a family of four kids and is married. Like things are going to look very different depending on who you are and where you're at in your current lifestyle. Just be gracious to the people that maybe see minimalism different than you do because that's maybe their form of minimalism. They maybe value different things and it can look different. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. That is never ever my intention. If I have a way that I do something, that doesn't have to be the way that you do it. You're allowed to express and to do it differently in a way that works for you. You know, maybe you take parts of it and you change other parts that work best with your values and with your lifestyle. But I've, you know, kind of found more of like what brings me value and what I really like care about. I'm a little bit more mindful, self-aware, and just more in the present moment than I was previously two years ago. I'm able to let go of some of those expectations and just live in the present moment and focus on the things that I value and the goals that I want to work towards. And accepting that, you know, if I don't achieve some of those, that's okay. Otherwise, until next time, it's a beautiful day to simplify. Bye.